If you are a trader, then most likely you used many indicators to build your strategies or even to trade manually. Today, I will teach you how to build strategies using only patterns, so zero indicator. I featured this strategy many times on the channel. It is the RSI 2, so when the RSI 2 below 25, we buy. When it's above 75, we exit. So this is long entry only. There's no short entry because I'm building it on the S&P 500. And if I run this, there is no slippage in commission. And this is the strategy you get. It's about 400 trades, 135,000. We have 48 open drawdown, 48,000. On average, we're making $334. This strategy is based on the RSI indicator and the calculation for the RSI. It's the average gain divided by the average loss. And then we do 100 divided by 1 plus this ratio. And the RSI 2 calculate this over 2 bars. So here is what it looks like. This is the orange line is the RSI 2. And you can see whenever the price pull back, the RSI dips below 25. So that's what it's doing. It's measuring the gain and the loss over two bars. And if you look at this chart carefully, you can see that whenever the price of the RSI 2 dips below 25, usually we have more than two bars closing below the previous close. And of course, it's the opposite when it's above. So you can see here we have four down bars, it's below, four up bars, it's above, and so on and so forth. So from that, we can really deduct that, okay, any two or more closes below the previous closes, then theoretically, we should reach that oversold period that the RSI2 is measuring. Now, obviously, it's not going to be the exact same thing, but still, it will be very approximate. To the performance and of course we need to test to verify so to test the theory here i put the close lower than the previous close and it's true for x bars that means i'm looking for this to be true for two bars and we will exit on the opposite side so if the close is higher than the previous close and it is true for two bars then we will exit we're still using the same thing so the es money management is one no commission no slippage and this is the strategy results that we get we get 89,000 with 431 trades and 62,000 open drawdown so we can compare it with the previous result of the RSI 2 and the RSI 2 is uh, much better but still we are very close in performance and I would say we are even correlated with the graph but now I can enhance this with simple filters so if we go back to the chart, we can see that when the close is lower than the previous close, it usually happens also that it's a down bar, meaning the close is lower than the open. So if I had this filter added, so this is the close lower than the open, and this is the close higher than the open. Also, this is true for two bars. So same thing, we are looking for lower closes in a row but also the bar should be red. Now we lower the strategy trades number and we make more money. So the strategy is a little bit better. Now we have lower drawdown, we're making higher average trade, but we have less trade. Now, of course, we can still play with this. For example, if I ask this to be three bars instead of two bars, and even by taking these filters away, so only we will go long when it's two bars down in a row and we will exit when it's three bars up in a row. You can see I already made much better. So these filters didn't work as expected and that's why we test. But just increasing the number of holding bars to three, we are still at the same drawdown, $56,000. But now our average trade is bigger and we're making 107. So now we are closer to this without even adding any filter. We just increase the number of holding. Now, there are more ways to simulate this. So instead of doing two bars, I can measure the lowest close in a number of bars. So instead of asking to look for two down bars in a row, two bars up in a row or three, we will now look for the lowest close in the previous five bars or the highest close in the previous five bars. So again, we are using the same data, one contract, but now we are looking if the close is the lowest close in the five bars. So you can see the close is lower than the lowest close in the four bars previously. That means so 
this bar close is lower than the previous four bars so the pattern is five bars and we will exit on the opposite when the close is higher than the highest close of the previous four bars so if we run this and we get the same result so 101 so it's the same like the the two bars uh, lower in a row uh, lower drawdown and almost same average trade but we get the same number of trades of the rsi2 so with this one we get more trades than the two low bar in a row now again with this one i can optimize this a little bit so if i wait one bar more so instead i will wait for the close to be the highest in a six bar pattern and we can see we already make a lot more money so now we re reduce the number of trades we increase the average trade so now i just added a filter which is a direction filter so stat oasis direction filter is part of the market regime filters which are included in the algo trading masterclass and what i'm trying to do here is filtering out the trend so three is sideways and four is a bull market and if I add these two filters, that means I'm only going to do the trades when I am either in a sideways market or in a bull market. And you can see we make less money, but we have lower drawdown. So we increase our average trade by a lot for 37. We are doing half the trades and we have a lower drawdown just by introducing a simple directional filter. Now, this could be, of course, any other type of filter. Usually, directional volatility are the best filters to use or previous day patterns. Directional and volatility filters are usually one of my first choices for any strategy. So you can use a moving average as directional filter and you can use ATR as volatility, but of course, there are many, many choices. To learn more, make sure to watch these videos and I will see you there.